Okay, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to receive analog input from a potentiometer. It could be a pressure sensor into the Arduino and then being read by Maxwino. First, we want to have standard Fermata um, on the Arduino. We can go to examples and Fermata and to standard Fermata. And we can push that. Um, a problem like this might pop up, and that's because these pins were in, and so we'll just take them out, we'll try again, and if it still doesn't work, then what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the Arduino and plug it back in. So it's still not working, so I'm going to unplug it really quickly, and plug it back in. and uh, that seemed to work. So now that standard Fermata is on the Arduino, then we have to go to uh, the potentiometer. So the potentiometer, it works if you're looking at it like this, then the bottom right hand one is gonna be the voltage, the bottom left hand is ground, and then the middle is the analog input. So I'm gonna plug those in, the red one into the five volt, the black one into the ground, and the yellow into the analog zero input. One down, two down, and the analog. Okay, so they're all plugged in now. Now we can go to Maxwino. If you open that up, then I have the Maxwino example GUI up, and I have to update the serial port and then pick the USB modem, and I'll initialize. When I've done that, so a thing that happens with Arduino, um, and you have to know the specific Arduino that you're using, in the Arduino Uno, it has digital inputs that go from 0 to 13, and, and then it goes into analogs. And so the analogs are actually uh, digital ports 14, um, 15, 16, 17, it, so it goes up. So it goes, starts counting up from 13, and that's when it transition, transitions into analog. So in Maxwino, we have to go over here and we have to find, okay, this is the last digital input, so 14 is going to be the analog input. So we go from here, and this, this is going to be analog input 0, analog input 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So for 14, 14, we have to go to analog in. Once that happens, for some reason, it's affecting this one. I'm not, I'm not sure why it doesn't correspond. I'd previously done it and it worked with that specific one, but um, here you'll see I'll move the potentiometer and that will move on the Maximino patch. And that's it. Um, you also notice that this is actually heating up a little bit and so it might be worth putting a resistor in there just so it keeps cool or you could uh, put um, something to dissipate the heat on the back. But that's how you do it. I hope it's helpful.